First, I want to talk about it just aspect and its effect on your eco roof. So, uh, aspect is the compass direction the roof is facing. So, in the diagram here, we've got. Uh, don't shoot this in my eye, right? Uh, so we've got a south-facing aspect here of this roof. So most of the solar gain is going to happen right here on this roof. You've got a west, so that's going to be a pretty hot little area as well. And then your east and your north side of the building or the rooftop here. This is just a good example of a residence because, you know, it was sloped and it showed that a little bit better in a flat roof. Um, <clears throat> so in general, the most desirable aspects are really north and east because they really reduce that irrigation demand and that water usage of the plant material. And just the um, uh, heat gain of the materials it might be, it might be edging of those kinds of things. So, you know, in, in general, we don't want you to install an eco roof that looks like this. We're not recommending that because it would be a little patchwork. But um, nevertheless, you're going to have much uh, cooler uh, temperatures on the east and north side of the building. And... Uh, likely to have better success with plant material and reduced irrigation need. So this is on, if you have your choice of designing a building, these slopes are more desirable. If you, if this building is existing, then you're, come, you're we're going to talk more about all the details yeah. you have to look at with regard to those other slopes. That's the come next week, yeah. and we'll talk to you about that. So the least desirable ones, of course, then, are the remainder, the south and west exposure. And, uh, uh, Tom, this is your cue on the tree. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But we forgot to put in an example um, of that a lot of times you'll have shade that will impact the, uh, there we go, perfect. <laughs> nice. See that? It's a little floppy. It's blowing. It's blowing in the wind. So, so. You know, and that happens in Portland. We've got a lot of uh, mature trees, and oftentimes, regardless of what, you know, you might be looking at your building, and it might be south, west, or north, you have this giant oak or maple or what have you that is shadowing the entire rooftop. And that'll have a, a significant effect, if not a more significant effect, than your aspect will on your rooftop. So pay attention. And what's important, I think, is on that note is, when you're, if it's an existing building, go up and take a peek at different times of the day and see where that shade's going. You could maybe, I don't know, Google map it and do some shade studies, but uh, definitely understand where that um, shade is. So aspect for new buildings, um, roofs in general are sloped to promote horizontal drainage off of the roof. And uh, flat roofs can drain in all directions or one direction to the middle or to the edges. Um, but a minimum of about a 2% slope on those roofs in order to keep make sure that they drain. So they're not really flat, perfectly flat at all. Um, <clears throat> but, of course, because they're flat, the aspect of that roof really doesn't have much of an effect on it. it it's just going to be hot, uh, regardless, unless you have a big tree um, or uh, other building items that are around. So the example here on just um, aspect that we have is we have Buckman Eco Roof. And uh, this is a flat roof, so the aspect may not be that big a difference, but this wall faces due south. So the heat gain on this is quite a bit. It's a little, you know, sunbeams come down, boom, reflect, and hit this guy. And uh, I'll show you an example. You guys are probably cheating looking ahead, but uh, show you the example here of what this looks like on, uh, Tom took this sequence uh, to give a good example of what that heat gain is. So April 6, 2006, looks green, beautiful, lush, cool. Then, uh, no. It was originally planted with native uh, grasses, but they're, well, that's another story. <laughs> yeah. then, then just a month later, it's, you can see that progression, which is just amazing that, you know, that it's actually drier, brownish color here. And then as it gets farther away from this wall, it's green. And Tom, is that the drain? And the drain. Is drain is right over here as well. So water's draining this direction. Drain's coming over here. But, and then if you go, then two weeks later, not even a month later, just two weeks later, and that whole thing is dry. 
So in this example, it's a, it's a uh, pretty extreme example because that is a fairly tall face uh, that immediately adjacent to this eco roof. And it's not an extremely large eco roof either, so it doesn't have a lot of buffer, I guess, um, uh, or a lot of stuff to buffer it from that heat. So then this is May 17th and looking fairly dry. And then on uh, the, just around the corner, this is an eco roof that faces east. This wall faces due east. And you can see, though, is that this wall here is right on the south edge of this eco roof. So really, this shot was taken early morning. And so it's getting a little bit of that sun coming straight due east down the face of that wall. But other than that, it's totally in shade. And this, Tom, was not planted. Is that correct? No, this, was planted. this was this one was planted. The ground level below was not this one here, right? And that's an old photo. The ground, level, the ground area below is covered with sedum that has uh, jumped from the roof above, and <laughs> it's one of our native sedums that has pretty much colonated that gravel area, which has no soil. They were dared to jump, right? <laughs> the, uh, so you can see they one. They looked over. They went gravel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they jumped in. Parachuted down or something. So yeah, there's a little one there, and maybe a couple right over yeah, there. Yeah, starting to go there. That's a few years. Yeah. Ago. But uh, so that was planted. Uh, this above. was planted was in planted with the ferns, ferns well. and you know shady material in here, and just left untouched really, um, with no irrigation. And you can see that uh, this was taken. Tom, was this taken similar time as the other ones? Do you think uh, oh, April or something like that? You know? Yeah, that'd be interesting. Here. Are you saying that the uh, sedum that escaped? Uh, is fully covering that lower area now? Without about 80 percent of the lower area, the gravel area, which is about an inch and a half of, of gravel ballast. It should. It should. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We're trying to learn. We're trying to listen. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's what you do with all the other thinking that you're doing about that stuff. <laughs> um, so then, on existing buildings, with the aspect that you have, you know. I, you have what you, you have. And what's interesting, though, is that let's say this is a flat roof. In this example, what we wanted to show you was that you know, there is shade out there. There may be a, a parapet wall. Maybe this is a mechanical space. On this building, we have a penthouse that's fairly tall. So it really does affect the different sides of the building. Um, so you can't ignore those things. There might be a big mechanical HVAC unit or something like that that might be up that will create shade um, on your structure. So it's not just, you know, there are some rooftops out there that are just flat, have a couple of penetrations, and that's about it. But there's also uh, billboards. Uh, there's one just if you, if you go over the Hawthorne Bridge, there's a big flat roof, and then there's a giant billboard on the middle of it. And I think, boy, that'd be an interesting shade study to see what kind of effect that billboard would have on the uh, eco roof, besides detra detracting from its beauty. But uh, so <clears throat> that's it. That's for uh, aspect on existing buildings.